Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I wanna to cover our accessory exercises, a waste of time. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of things that you can put in your garage or basement or home gym or just in your commercial gym, like a lot of things. There's pulleys, there's cables, there's leg attachments, there's drink spotter lights, there's drink spotters, there's all sorts of stuff that you can put all over your gym and then thus do all these crazy different movements. Landmines, tennis ball landmines, GHD, I mean, you name it, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. So you asked me, Grant, should I do accessory work? Can I do dips? Can I do barbell curls? Should I do tricep pull downs? Should I do all of these things? You wanna know, is this worth your time? I'm gonna tell you what I think. The answer is maybe, and probably not. And here's why I think that. Having coached the barbell lifts for over a decade now and had tried to help people get stronger and get more fit, what I realized is that the average person skips workouts all the time. They have the best of intentions, they drop five grand on our website, they put in a whole new home gym, they buy a bunch of attachments to do pulley pull downs and all this kind of stuff, but what do they do? they hardly train. They go out there maybe once a week or they go three months and they don't lift at all. Then they go back in there. And so they're asking all of these questions that don't really matter or don't really address the problem. The reason we like squats, presses, bench presses, deadlifts, power cleans, and those movements is because they use your entire body through a great range of motion and you're able to add weight. So if you're trying to get stronger, it's a very effective way to get there. Does that mean that barbell curls, barbell shrugs, dumbbell shrugs, cable crossovers, all of that is bad? No, it doesn't mean that at all. We have a video on barbell curls. We have a new barbell curl bar getting ready to come out on the site. Curls are fine. These accessory movements are fine but fix the underlying issue. Are you consistent in your training? Gym clients, online clients, people I've coached, Marines I've coached over the years always ask me, you know, hey, Grant, can you write me a program? I write them a program. Hey, can I do curls on Monday? Sure. Can I do lying tricep extensions on Wednesday? Sure. Can I do cable crossovers and tricep pushdowns and, and face aparts or whatever that's called on Friday? Sure. Like, wait, does it matter? Is it gonna affect your training? And I'll just look at them and say, I don't think you're gonna even do your squats and your deadlifts. So I'm not too concerned with your accessory movements. <laughs> but I can hear you now, Grant, that's not me. That's not me, Grant. I do my training. I pull my four sets of six deadlifts. I train four days a week. I'm on a four day split. I haven't missed a gym session in five years. Should I do my accessory work? Sure, yes, if you enjoy it, go for it. If you have time, Go for it. Does it help? Yes. Do curls and chin-ups and those things help your arms grow? Yes. Do cable crossovers? Are they fun? Yes. Is there arguments that can be made of adding in dumbbell flies and dumbbell bench press to break through a plateau or a close grip press or something? Does all that work? Yes, 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 yes. But if you haven't fixed the fundamental issue, fix the fundamental issue. Be consistent, get in the gym, do the big bar li barbell lifts, add weight, even when you don't feel like it, push yourself, eat enough, sleep enough, all that stuff. You got there, now you can do accessory work. Do it whenever you want. Doesn't really matter. Do your big lifts, then do your accessory stuff. Hope this video helps. If you like it, like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.